Hi everyone, I wanted to talk today about uh, hatches. So this is in Rhino 6 uh, that we are all, we're all working with. And um, this is in reference to your logo. You may want to think about this for the future, um, this option for creating hatches uh, within a region. This will be very uh, useful uh, when we start laser cutting or, or laser, laser cutting or laser etching. Um, we can begin to create surface textures uh, on objects using these hatch patterns. And so Rhino um, uses a hatch similar to a uh, infill that you would find in um, Illustrator. And so we're able to take uh, that uh, drawing that we've created. This is simple kind of um, metal or, or medallion that I've created, this design. And I can select the curves that I want to hatch. And I want to show you two different methods. One is kind of a big sweeping um, selection. And Rhino is going to kind of self um, uh, select what areas it thinks you want to hatch. So that's the first method. And um, so, you know, that's, that's, that's pretty cool. We can just kind of roll with whatever it gives us. But it also gives us a boundary option. So um, I can click that boundary here to select that. Or I'm going to cancel. I'm going to hit uh, enter again. And I'll show you that um, it gives you this boundary option over here as well. So we could click boundary. And if we do that, um, it'll say select curves that you want to um, select. So I'll, I'll just do this. And then it'll have me locate or select instead of auto selecting what boundaries I want to use for the hatch. So instead, I might do something like this, um, and then you know like this, and so that is it's knowing that that area is going to be selected. You see, it's shadowed. Uh, I could also select um, you know this, and it would know that that was going to be hatched. So if I hit enter, now only those boundaries would be selected as uh, hatches. So um, just know that that's possible to kind of like pre-select using that boundary option as a way to uh, kind of control that hatch. All right, now let's get into uh, other things other than a solid. Right now, you know, we're seeing a solid hatch, but if I click, click on the other patterns, I'm able to, um, you know, choose different hatches uh, for various areas. So let's go ahead and hit enter to that and we'll save that one. And then, you know, I could go ahead and pre-select if I wanted to, um, to kind of save a little bit of time. And I could hit hatch again. And um, again, we'll just go ahead and it'll save the last default kind of hatch you use, but we could change to maybe something like that and we can hit OK. And so we can start to create these like patterns within, these linear patterns within uh, these regions. So let's just choose a hatch there. Uh, maybe we want something different and we'll say OK to that. And so these are separate objects. So just please note that, that you've got both a curve and a hatch that is selectable. So you may decide at some point you don't even want that curve. So I'm just going to make a copy of this so we can kind of play with that copy. Um, but I could delete this other line. And so that sh that hatch starts to define the shape of that. So we don't wind up with this like coloring book outline uh, of the hatch. And this is uh, sometimes neat to kind of play with, and especially when we start laser etching in wood, uh, we'll be able to set different depths for the hatch so we can create actually three-dimensional uh, depth within a um, uh, surface of wood. Uh, and so that's why I want you to be aware of these hatch patterns and a way in which you can use those, especially if we start putting them in separate uh, into different layers. So we could go back to the layer property here and we could change uh, to a different layer. And now we're going to wind up being able to set that. And again, this may, won't make sense right now, but when we start laser cutting, we'll be able to select a depth for that, of whether that's shallow or, or uh, super deep, and we'll base that on the layer. And so uh, you can get some really cool patterns. Again, we could delete this, and that really drastically kind of changes uh, the way that looks. Now another thing we can do with this hatch uh, is that we can select on it and, and, and in the object properties uh, box uh, menu we can start to 
uh, play with the scale of that pattern, or we can rotate that pattern, right? So we could rotate this pattern, um, you know, 90. Let's see what that does. And we'll hit tab. So, right, so the, basically it's now changed that pattern um, so we can see what it looks like there. And then I can, you know, redo that again just so you can kind of see. So you could play with that if you wanted this, the direction to change. You can also play with the scale. So if I did like 0.2, um, and that's going to make that, that line density tighter. So all of these hatches after they're created are editable, right? So we could play with this, right? And change the way it looks. So I just want you to be familiar with using hatches because later on, um, you know, we're, we're going to, we're going to talk about this in, in regards to our reliquary box that you're creating and how you can create surface that's laser etched. And so uh, just kind of save this knowledge for the future, but I thought it might be something that you could use and experiment with uh, on your logo and, um, and see what results you can get with it. Um, the last thing that I'll mention is that you can start to create your own custom hatches. Uh, I'll show you there's an option here so you can load a hatch pattern from a file. So it is possible to create your own kind of like infill, custom infill shapes that you can add to this collection of presets that Rhino has. So that might be something else that you want to uh, you want to look into. So um, pretty pretty cool uh, option to be able to kind of instead of having to physically draw these things if you knew you wanted a certain pattern you could start to build that yourself. So just wanted to let you know that was a possibility. Um, again, you know, short video here. Just wanted to like uh, show you what's possible uh, in Rhino. So I uh, hope you enjoyed.